Here's second down, bench pressure, and Gakwe swallows him up. On first and 10, Russell Shell stopped by Ngakwe. Third and five, pressure coming. Cook hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. Well, they brought everybody in on Cook. Cook with lots of time. Nobody open, and Cook is not going to get the first down. Yannick Ngakwe caught him before he can get to the 23-yard line. Gardner goes down. A huge loss. You just watch these linebackers. They are just way more athletic. about Mbakwe at the top of the screen. Talk to me earlier how athletic he is and you can see it just come around the edge too fast, too quick. Mbakwe again in the backfield to haul down Lynch. Gives off to Mack. Looking for a little room for the punter and gets nothing. Ngakwe makes a great play defensively. Yannick Ngakwe. On the delay, Shell grappling there with his opposite number seven, and Yannick Ngakwe makes the stop. He'll keep it. Off the edge, Ngakwe. They're as good as it gets. They're flushed. Look out! They're really well to hang on to the football. Yannick and Gakwe took him down. Walkway is he, he's too athletic for Sheriff, and he's beat him a couple times. You can see here, he just throws a swim move, gets him moving upfield. by Maryland. They had men in the backfield, including Yannick and Gakwe, immediately. it to the sideline as Yannick Ngakwe was right there. Maryland, yeah, you see him relentless. And to kick it off to start, there's a uh, reverse kind of play. Francis Alusu, the young wide receiver, had nowhere to go. Yannick Ngakwe with a nice play. The more I watched Yannick Ngakwe, the more he started to jump out on film. Obviously, the production from a tackles for a loss standpoint, it's that's obvious that he can get in the backfield and make plays. But his awareness for a young player is what I really noticed. I think he has a very, very bright future here in Maryland.